Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of this connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. Looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle. Really looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading, which we'll jump into in just a second. But I do have a different tarot deck that I'll be using for each side of this connection that I'll be using as well. As um, And then I have an advice deck that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right, than to my left, or if you're a cross watcher, vice versa, just know that's totally fine and totally normal. Again, the point is to take what helps your situation and leave what doesn't. All right, Pisces, on your side of this connection, you have destined soul ties, the death card here. Um, if you are not familiar with a soul tie, with what a soul tie is, I highly recommend doing research on what a soul tie kind of comes with. Um, you know, when we meet someone, meet someone and have intense emotional experiences with them or connect on a physically intimate level, that's, that's typically what opens the door for a soul tie to be created. And some soul ties can be great and they can be long lasting and they can be healthy, but um, a lot of soul ties can also go the other way, where even though there are unhealthy patterns that are created in the relationship, you still feel attached to that person, even if you know that it isn't what's best for you. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that's the case in this, but I do feel like with the destined soul tie card, first and foremost, you and this person were destined to meet. Now, second of all, with the death card, this is either a connection that has ended and you're having a hard time breaking that soul tie, meaning that you are still very much connected to this person, you are still very affected by their behavior, the things that happened in the past of this connection still very much bother you, like you're having a hard time healing. Or this is kind of more referring to the fact that there is a soul tie that needs to be broken, and it could be both. But I, I really feel like there is a lot of some deep stuff that I think we're going to be diving into when it comes to this reading. Now, this person, they have lies and partial truths with the moon card. This connection sparked a lot of fear in this person. And I feel because of that, because the moon to me kind of represents that shadow side of us, that part of us that, you know, we're not really the most proud of, that part of us that we might not even be really aware of, that triggered, unhealed part of us that kind of will sometimes act on our behalf and end up sabotaging things for us. So in this connection, I feel like this pushed this person into kind of their shadow side, like into a lot of their fear-based mentality, which caused them to do whatever they needed to do to control the relationship, control the situation, which probably came out in the form of lies or partial truths, you know, not being fully honest or, you know, straight, just outright lying or whatever the case might be. So I do feel like there's a lot more going on here than you might realize in terms of like how this connection is affecting you or like is meant to affect you even on like a spiritual level, because the overall theme for the reading is truth. So there is a like a deeper truth that needs to be brought to the surface when it comes to to this connection. And I'm hoping that we can kind of at least start to hit on that in this reading. And then in between this connection, you have we outgrew each other with the world card. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that this like, I don't feel like this saying that like the connection outgrew, like, like you outgrew the connection, meaning that like you guys have moved past each other. But I do feel like there is a pretty big with the world card, a pretty big cycle in this connection that has it's like that you've outgrew. I don't know if that necessarily makes sense, but it just, it feels like there's, and I feel like it's the soul tie aspect or like what this soul tie keeps you attached to regardless of the connection. But I don't know. 
this was honestly kind of confusing for me. So maybe we'll get more insight into it as we, we pull for both sides. So let's start. Pisces, on your side of this connection, you have destined soul ties with the death card. This is for Pisces' side of the connection to the person they are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. And remember that soul ties don't just have to be romantic. It can be a platonic relationship. It can be a familial relationship. It can be a lot of different things. Pisces' side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. But take it as it resonates. Most likely the first person that came to mind. Oh, right. Ace of Cups in reverse. Right off the bat. With the Five of Swords. Oof. You have, okay, yeah, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This connection um, kind of ripped out the rug from underneath you. And, you know, in these readings, I am pulling forth your connection to the person that you are needing to learn the most from right now. So typically these readings can refer back to past connections that, you know, you're still needing to learn from. And this with the death card, I do feel like is a past connection. Like even if this person is still in your life in some capacity, I feel like this is referring to like something in the past. Because with the Ace of Cups in reverse, there's a part of you that is kind of, um, kind of push down the way this connection has really made you feel. Because with the Five of Swords, your your defenses have come out in this. I feel like you're in a point in this connection where you feel like you absolutely have to protect yourself. And so obviously something puts you in this place. And I feel like it's this Four of Pentacles in reverse. Like something happened in this connection. This person did something. It made you, it, it, it led to a sense of lack of stability. Like pulled the rug out from underneath your feet in some way, shape, or form. And ever since that happened, you like have this feeling that you need to like protect yourself from them in a way. Um, but then there's that part of you that's not really being like, like honest about how this really makes you feel. So it's, it's kind of interesting because I feel like, you know, when we go through something like this, when we get the rug ripped out from underneath us and it comes with a lot of emotion and we're, you know, especially when we're dealing with soul ties, the one, the first thing that we're going to want to do is pretend like it doesn't bother us. You know, we're going to want to box it up and place it out to the side because these kinds of connections are very, very painful. And so in a sense, you'll start to kind of, you know, try to use anger and um, resentment and blame as coping mechanisms. And all those, those, those things can be very healthy. And there is absolutely a place in the human experience for them. When we allow those, those emotions and that energy to start to fully consume us, we then what we don't realize is we don't just protect ourselves from the person that hurts us, we start protecting ourselves from anybody getting close to us again. And so I do feel like this connection came with quite a bit of pain. And there has been this hard you've been having a hard time with like breaking out of that. This is Pisces side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. This is Pisces side of this connection, please. Pisces side of this connection to the person they are dealing with, please. Death in reverse of the six of cups in reverse. You want things to go back to how they once were. Um, in this connection. Um, these are all the wrong way. Death, Six of Cups, and then the Chariot. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. All right, the, so you want things to go back to, I feel like, how they once were, like, in the past with the Six of Cups here. Or I feel like because things were, like, in one, like, at one point they were really good, and then I feel like they went from being really good to, like, really not good. And so there's a part of you that's still, like, like hold not holding on to but almost like in a way attached to when things were good and I feel like you're having a hard time moving forward from this because I do feel like this ending or like how things kind of unfolded here I don't feel like it I don't know if it like didn't make a lot of sense to you or like you didn't expect it or yeah it's like you didn't see it coming in some way shape or form but it's like even if you want to move forward from this and like get to a place where you're like able to not be affected by this connection anymore, it feels like you can't, even if you want to. Some of you might not want to. Some of you might be trying to like manifest this back or something like that. Um, but I do feel like there is, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here, Pisces. 
Yeah, because there's the hangman in reverse. So you are definitely holding on to something. It's like holding on to the past version of this connection in some way, shape, or form. Pisces energy toward the person they are dealing with. It's like holding on to this to this person was before their shadow came out in some way. It's this Pisces side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. There's the seven of swords. I really feel like this person, I mean, just seeing this lies and partial truths and then seeing the seven of swords, it feels to me like something was revealed to you about this person. And it could have been like through them telling you or like you finding out about something or like you finding out who they really are, like their true colors came through or something. It's like something was revealed about this person that has been a really, it's like it's been hard for you to accept or to understand and maybe there's a part of you that's blaming yourself in a way I, I don't know that might not be for everyone but because I do feel like there's a part of you like and I feel like most of you in this reading like don't want to admit it like I'm done with that person I don't care like or something um because remember this death card could mean like the like a, like there's a cycle that needs to end Either way, I feel like I feel like the way that this connection unfolded like totally took you by surprise. I feel like it did not it did not go the way that you expected it to go or is not going the way that you expect it to go. Um if it's one you're currently dealing with. Pisces side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Pisces side of the connection to the person they are dealing with, please. This person brought up or brings up a lot of, like with the Nine of Swords, a lot of like, your fear, your doubt, your insecurity, like mainly insecurities. I feel like this person really pokes at your insecurities in some way, shape, or form. Um, and I feel like that's where a lot of the soul tie is created in a way. Because it's hard for you to stand up to this person. Like when you're in front of them, like when you're face to face with them, it's like, it's hard for you to set boundaries and like stand up for yourself for some reason. Um, like, like I don't want to say they like make you weak or anything like that. Cause I don't, I'm not saying you are a weak person by any means, but it does feel like they have this kind of like power over you that I feel like you wish they didn't have. It's like, They make you doubt yourself almost or like something. Either way, I don't like this effect that it has on you very much. And you might be like, yeah, me either. But I do feel like there's a reason behind it. It's this Pisces side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Pisces side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Pisces side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. You have a lot of anger towards this person, Pisces. Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, a lot of anger that you, you hold towards this person. Now, I'm not necessarily saying... Like, uh, yeah, because you, there, I mean, oof, there is a lack of justice in this connection. I mean, I don't know necessarily if it's like, I, I don't know. I don't, I feel like this person did you wrong in some way, shape, or form. We'll get more with like what's going on here. But with the Hierophant, there is like this need for a perspective shift regarding this connection and the way that it affected you. 
because this energy that you've been in, it's been draining you. Um, that's one of the biggest things that I learned like throughout my spiritual journey is that so much happens energetically and the energy that we send people like on an energetic level, um, you know, especially if you feel like you're dealing with like an energy vampire or something like that, like someone who just likes to get a rise out of people or whatever the case is, they don't care whether the energy that you give them is positive or negative. In fact, most of the time when you're dealing with someone like that, they like the negative attention because it's, it's just, it's still attention and they know how to get that out of people. And so I do feel like there's, there's an intensity associated with like this connection in this person for sure. And I mean, I, I feel it like, I feel like, like this, this level of like anger or resentment you have here because it's like, because of injustice, there was this lack of injustice or this lack of justice. But there's something to be learned from it. That's this truth. Pisces side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Pisces side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. This is for Pisces side of this connection, please. So yeah, there's a lack of clarity which keeps you stuck in like a really painful energy surrounding this connection. Like, man, Pisces, this connection has affected you a ton. And I feel like you don't like that, which is why there's this level of like ignoring how it makes you feel or like saying like, I'm trying to be like, no, it doesn't bother me anymore. Like, I don't care, like whatever, but it does bother you. And there's a reason for that. And you can be honest with that. That's okay. You know, I think that the first thing, the first step into healing is, you know, being honest with ourselves about how we feel. And sometimes we can feel like it's wrong to feel the way that we do, but you feel the way that you feel because that's how you feel. There's nothing wrong about the way that you feel. Um, but I do feel like there's more, I feel, you feel, we all feel, but I feel like there's more to this than meets the eye. All right. What's this person dealing with? You have lies and partial truths with the moon here. This person's energy toward Pisces. This person's energy toward Pisces. There's a lot of information out there how, on how to break soul ties. And I, soul ties are tough. I've had one, I get it. Um, but I highly recommend looking into that. This person has unrealistic expectations when it comes to relationships. It's like, what is that? Like the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's like, clarifying this Ten of Cups in reverse, please. Don't like this energy. This isn't this isn't very kind energy. Um, I definitely feel like you're dealing with an energy vampire of some sort, like um, someone who kind of like feeds off of other people to help them feel better about themselves, you know, putting other people down or I don't know, like, I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy, Pisces. I don't know though. I, I just, I feel like there's an aspect to this energy that like, it's not very kind. It definitely isn't kind. It's very like a, yeah, there's the King of Cups. And I mean, this is this is borderline emotional abuse right here, depending on how how that resonates for you. Like this is a uh, not gonna lie, I don't really like being in this energy, but we will continue. This person's energy toward Pisces, please. Ooh. 
this person's energy toward Pisces, please. Oh, wait, okay. Interesting. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, no, okay. I was like, what the heck? Um, okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, okay, because there's a judgment in reverse. So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. Um, okay. This person doesn't, they don't know themselves. Um, and when someone doesn't know themselves, they'll kind of take on the energy of anybody around them that they can. I don't like to, like, be, and, and if you watch my channel for a while, then you know this about me. I don't like to um, diagnose or, like, say, oh, this person's a narcissist or this person's that and the other thing. But I definitely feel like this energy is in association with, like, it, it, someone who is a bit narcissistic because I do feel like this person, like, super takes for granted, like, takes you for granted for sure. But, like, not just you. Like, I feel like it's kind of, uh, like, they, they have a tendency to, like, take everything around them for granted. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they're stuck in a pretty karmic existence right now. Um, meaning that you might feel like this person, like, did you wrong and then is just, like, happy and fine with their lives. But that's that's not the case. I do feel like they're struggling like in their own life, which hurt people hurt people, right? If they're not, if, if, if someone is happy and healthy and in a good place, they're not going to hurt other people. So there's, you know, there's more to be said for that. But then with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel like this person like sabotages anything good in their life. Um, and I feel like a big part of that, you know, a big part of that sabotaging was, was you. But I do feel like there is a a very karmic, I don't know, I, I don't like this energy. I don't know this person. And if you're, if this is your energy, I might not be tapping into you in particular, but I am tapping into some energy that is um, not very nice. This person's energy toward Pisces. death things played out the way that they did in this connection because this person is emotionally unavailable they're certainly not in a place where they're able to receive love and we can only you know, we give and receive love as much as we're, you know, we give that to ourselves. So they're definitely not in a position to receive love. So they're certainly not in a position to give it. Um, and maybe you know all this. And maybe you've held on to it for the potential of what it could be. But I just feel like over time, this person's true colors were revealed to you. And I feel like the way that they acted in this connection like deeply deeply affected you um but remember there's something to be learned from it i like can't breathe in this energy this person's energy toward pisces please this person's energy toward pisces please one more this person's energy Toward Pisces. Definitely treated you like an option here. Or like... Like you were replaceable in some way, like like disposable almost. I don't. 
I don't, this is, this is some insane energy. I don't know what I'm getting into here. Um, I don't think this person sees that they need to change. I don't think this person has any intention of changing. With this death in reverse, like resisting change, I feel like I feel like they use people. Um, I don't know. I just I, and with the page of swords in reverse, I feel like they say whatever they need to say. To keep the attachment, to keep that, like, to get, to continue that energy supply, right? Whether it's positive or negative, they're going to say whatever they need to say so that they can continue to get energy from you, whether it's, again, positive or negative. And so I just, in some, in some relationships, we have givers and, you know, you're either, when you're kind of dealing with a relationship like this, you're either the giver or you're the taker. And takers don't have limits. Takers are going to take as much as they can, right? But givers do have limits. Givers can only give so much because you have a cup. And once that cup is empty, you don't have anything else to give. And when you're dealing with someone who is narcissistic, and I'm not saying this person is a narcissist, but I feel like if you're watching this reading and this is resonating with you, you're probably already aware of that. Um, you probably like have already like come to that conclusion yourself. But um, you know, when you're dealing with someone like this, when, when you're dealing with a taker, they will take as much as they can. And when they get what they can, they will move on to another energy supply and so on and so forth. And when you're dealing with someone like that, I mean, it can affect you in a way that is like, like soul level kind of affecting because it can make you feel worthless. It can make you feel like it was your fault, like you deserve to be treated that way. They could even tell you things like, this is all that you deserve. No one will love or love you if you leave me. Like, you know, th when you're dealing with that kind of treatment and that's what this feels like. So if this, if that's not for you, this is not your reading because this is dealing with someone who is like mean spirited, like not, not, does not have good intentions. Now I will say when you're dealing with someone like that, you're dealing with someone who is deeply, deeply hurt, deeply lost, you know, and they're just as deserving of love as anybody else. But the thing is, you know, usually when you're kind of dealing with someone like that, they tend to attract people who are so willing to give that unconditional love and see past, you know, the flaws and the the ways that they treat them so that they can continue that energy supply. And when and that's usually kind of like people who are a little bit more empathetic or a little bit more, you know, you know, loving and like are willing to kind of give that out. And it, you know, it tends to kind of come back to, you know, teaching the lesson of, of knowing your value and not allowing you, not allowing someone to treat you that way and so on and so forth. But the lesson is freaking painful. And so there is definitely a soul tie associated with this connection. And the soul tie is coming from this place of like abuse. Like that's what this feels like. And this is not typically how my readings go, but and this feels like a very, this is for a very specific collective but this is definitely someone who is dealing with someone who has very much mistreated them and you feel like you can't get away from it. This person's energy toward Pisces. I think the only thing that I can say is, you know, things can only get better like and they will get better I think that when you're dealing with something like this um you know when you're when you're healing from like dealing with a narcissist or you know in a relationship with a psychopath and I'm not using those terms loosely if you know me and you know my channel I do not use those terms loosely but when you're dealing with someone like that it takes like in my opinion, like triple the amount of time to heal from it than it does a usual relationship because you're you're not just healing from a normal relationship, you're healing from abuse. And that takes a lot more um, energy and effort and emotional kind of capacity than just healing from a normal connection. And so I do feel like there is a deeper purpose for this connection for you, but I also feel like what I want this reading to be is almost like just an acknowledgement of your pain. I feel like, you know, you deserve 
to recognize that you are in something that is very painful and that you are not deserving of the way that you've been treated in this connection. I think that first and foremost, it's important that you recognize that so that you can start that process of healing. Because I know that when you're dealing with that kind of relationship, it can also, it can start to feel like, like you deserved it or like you, um, like it's your fault or something like that. And it's not, um, but I do feel like there needs to be this recognition of like, this isn't the way that you were treated in this connection isn't normal. And it isn't the way that love has to be for you. This person's energy toward Pisces. Four of wands in reverse with the Empress in reverse. Um, Okay, um, this person has a tendency to seek out people that they know they can control. And I feel like it kind of goes back to what I was saying, because the Empress in reverse is that energy of like, because this is your energy, this Empress in reverse, and it's that energy of like sacrificing your needs and your desires for the sake of the connection, right? Someone who is who's very empathetic, someone who's very willing to love with no bounds and, and things of that nature and someone who, um, you know, doesn't put themselves first. That's typically what this kind of energy, whatever, whoever it is, that's typically what they attract is someone that, um, they know that they can control. That doesn't make you weak. It doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. It means that you are a kind, loving, empathetic person. And unfortunately there are people out there who will use that to their advantage in a very negative way. And I do feel like this is very much what's coming through in this reading. Usually in these readings, I feel like I can empathize with the person that you're dealing with and kind of say like, you know, they're a hurt person. They're, you know, they don't mean to come from this place. I don't feel that about this person. I feel, well, for some of you, that could be the case. But I feel like this person is like very aware of what they're doing. Um, but doesn't feel like they need to change. I feel like, and, and that's why this is different than most of the readings that I do, is this doesn't feel like a normal relationship reading to me um, at all. All right, this person's energy toward Pisces. This person's energy toward Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this person's energy toward them? This person's energy toward them. They do not have their priorities straight here. Um, and I feel like I mean, that's obvious, right? But you have to know that the root of people who are like this is deep pain and lack of, you know, empathy and love. And, I, you know, the when I was dealing with kind of a, a narcissistic, emotionally abusive connection, um, the hardest part of that read or that energy, that connection, was getting my plant myself to a place of forgiveness. And it wasn't just a forgiveness of that person for how they treated me, which I, I am at a place with now, but it was also a forgiveness of myself for investing in the connection and allowing the connection to treat me the way that it did for as long as it did. And the forgiveness of self peace in those types of connections is so vitally important because not only are you going to make sure that that never happens to you again, but you're also going to grow stronger and wiser and uh, more loving because of it whenever you do heal from it and you will heal from it. So intense. All right, Pisces, we're going to hop on over to the extended. You have we outgrew each other with the world card. This, like I said, this is a very specific reading. I don't know if this is for my usual collective, um, but 
I'm going to pull nine different messages, and then I have an advice card to pull at the end. Thank you so much, Pisces, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Pisces.